yes, I'm not showing my face. <laughs> it's very difficult for me to control. Otherwise, I can't see. Okay. Yeah, let me just go move this way, the light. Sorry, I'm always adjusting, you know that. Yeah. Okay. So I've got a lot of uh, cards today and I'm going to do... Um, going to do a lot of cards yeah and uh, in fact i'm going to do um, a zodiac sign wise also hello everybody and thanks for coming i know a lot of you are waiting that's really sweet of you guys let me know if you can see my cards properly and if you can hear me give me a shout out i can just read it a bit so don't ask me questions because i'll not be reading the uh, chat it's very difficult for me i like chan uh, channeling you know otherwise i'll keep reading and i'll forget what to say so uh, we're going to start with Archangel Michael cards. Okay, this is for, this is collective today. Okay, when I'm going to the zodiac signs, I'll tell you. I've got the zodiac cards also. So we're going to start with Archangel Michael cards because I think a uh, few of you would need uh, some kind of uh, guidance. What is uh, what what you should know right now? Okay, then I've got. Uh, Ask the angels like we always do. Think of questions in your mind and I'm going to tell them. Uh, give you the answers. Then I'm going to romance angels. Uh, right away. <laughs> and also the tea leaf cards. The book is here. Okay. So that means a lot of lot of messages. So be here. Okay. And yes, my witch is cauldron. Which I'll pick up. Few messages. Thanks for spending your Sunday here with me. Thank you so much, guys. And please keep it spam free. I'm not reading it. Do not spam, please. And uh, I'm not asked, answering any uh, personal questions for that. Uh, I do personal readings. I don't answer it like this. And uh, let's start with the message. Yes, I'm going to do a spell class. I've never, never done it. I don't teach spells. But a lot of you, a lot of you have been uh, wanting me to do spells for you. I've been offered dollars and dollars and I don't know how many dollars. I do not want to do it for people. I do not do it for people. You can learn from me. I'll probably do a combination of two career spells and love spells. Okay, If you want to join the class, tell me. I will give you all the details. It should happen in the first week of April. It will be a one day in the sense two hours class or one and a half hours class. Uh, because it's very difficult for people to uh, be attentive for so long. So I'm going to do a combination, okay, of two, three spells. So let's start the reading. Thank you so much for all of you being here. Remember, this is a collective uh, reading that I'm going to give you before, okay? And uh, yes, I want to share with you. I'm so happy with all my subscribers who made it possible. I know you can't see it, but my YouTube button. <laughs> here it is. This is for all of you, each one of you who made it possible for me, who actually listen to me and spend your time um, listening to my channel, listening to me and believing in me. Okay, so let's start. I hope you can see it well. I'm going to put in more light. Great. Don't spam, please. I'm not monitoring it. I just like, uh, you know, doing uh, the cards. I don't want to just... Uh, you know, not channel properly. Okay, so let's start, everybody. Thank you. Archangel Michael cards uh, before... Uh, starting so you might need something oh, be honest with yourself whatever you feeling no be honest with yourself okay there is something that you're feeling um your intuition is saying something to you and i definitely feel um you know you know what is going on in your life you know a lot of times we try to give excuses for the other person but it says accept your truth and let the source take it from there i think somewhere you need to accept yourself thank you everybody who's saying congratulations congratulations to all each one of you who made it possible I think number five is going to be important. We started with number five. Number five is always something about change, a big change, a transformation, things turning suddenly for the better. Like we see how from a caterpillar, you become a butterfly, things suddenly change. Uh, you've got number eight and at the end, you've got four, four, four. Recognize the signs from above. So I just said your intuition is saying something to you. Recognize the signs. Maybe you're going to see a feather. Maybe you're going to see a butterfly. Maybe you're going to see something that is really, really important for you. I just took out the green pen. Okay, maybe you need healing, some of you. And green is going to be a good color for you guys this week. Next seven days, you can use green, okay? That's another thing that I get. So you could be seeing a white bird, okay? You could. It's not necessarily to spot it like live. You could be reading a book and you could uh, be seeing it. I'm telling you the uh, divine is actually giving you a lot of uh, messages and signs and you need to just listen to them, okay? Oh my God, trust in the divine purpose. I just said divine and you've got divine here. You actually have been guided by the divine. I think uh, there are thoughts in your mind that you never had. You were taking control of your life. That's another thing I get. They're taking control of your life. Let's see. Pray from the heart. 
and you've got another five and five brings about changes so the manifestations you're doing will bring about changes i definitely feel you know archangel michael is saying when you're doing ma doing manifestations or any spells or if you're writing something down you're doing law of attraction please do it from your heart i get a lot of messages in here or uh you know before they even start the spell they're like will it really happen it hasn't happened it's like um you know you just written the spell and you're like hey well, it's not happened it never happens like that okay with with every spell with every spell i always say just do it and forget about it so one more message from archangel michael and i think this came out yesterday also you're ready for more you're ready for more love you're ready for more luck more opportunities uh what you thought you'll be given you know like a small flower but it's actually so big okay so whatever you thought that will i get it or not it's going to be you know coming back to you in 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 like uh, multiplied okay and uh, so if you've not been getting messages from them no effort nothing anything that you wanted you know you get it today i'm getting the letter d quite a lot so your name or their name could begin with d i also get daisy okay as a as a word maybe daisies or you say daisies i'm doing the romance angel cards spirit guides please give me a message wow you've got a past life connection with the other person right now i'm at the collective when i start uh doing the zodiac i'll keep each zodiac sign so you will know what zodiac i am on okay and i'll announce it so you've got a past life connection with someone i get a lot of two 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 today that is so beautiful playfulness some of your relationship is getting dull boring okay and uh, you miss that playfulness with the person i feel i feel if you're an s or your uh, person's name begin with an s especially this message is for you i also get a sagittarian okay not necessarily guys remember this is a general reading please take what resonates otherwise just leave please don't ask me for predictions don't spam i'll have to block you otherwise whoever is spamming please don't spam there's no use otherwise you won't be able to uh, listen to my messages you've got romantic feelings the person has feelings if your question to me was you know do they feel anything or do they have feelings or is it just like this you know they are anything are they attracted to me you know that's another question uh, anything that they feel for me i get uh, such beautiful romantic energies i'm getting r quite a lot we starting with r okay your name could begin with r their name could begin with r that's such a beautiful you know energy with uh, a romantic feelings you know it's almost like you've got a blue dress or you bought a blue dress okay i get i'm getting a blue dress a very light blue color dress i'm getting the word victorian that's another thing that i'm getting so beautiful it's definitely a past life connection with some of you i'm also thinking that this is about a past person who you've not really connected with who you miss because if you see the shorts today that i put up it's all about you know you um somebody you really bonded well with something happened and you've not been in touch with them okay this is not somebody you fought with you've not been in touch with them maybe a fight or something but somebody is going to come back i get i mean out of the blue oh yeah out of the blue and i said blue dress something to do with blue they gave you a blue dress ah wow, look at the chemistry between you two there's attraction this chemistry so for some of you playfulness attraction chemistry it could be a new love okay you could be dealing with a gemini you could be dealing with a leo i get okay you could be a leo or a gemini but there's a lot of chemistry let go of control issue some of you are just controlling the whole thing i feel let it flow where it's going the relationship you going you controlling it too much you know you probably putting words into their mouth or when to meet or when to call or you should call or you should not call one of you is controlling the relationship quite a lot i get especially uh, capricorn and i'm getting taurus okay remember this is a general reading again might or might not resonate okay so i get these uh, these signs i've got true love here at the end of the deck which is beautiful and uh, look at the stance you know you've got you've got this person almost you know like looking back it's like trusting the person you know you, you just you just trust the person it's like when you have that fall you know trust fall and it, it's like you want to be close to that person maybe you're missing someone very much and you just want to be close to them you know you probably had a picture like this and uh, yeah your knight in shining armor you could have thought about that <laughs> I also get a red ribbon here, like a red ribbon. I also get a peasant, like era dress or something. 
I got leaning tower of Pisa. I don't know why with all this. Okay, so let's see. Let's keep these cards here so they don't fall because I get very clumsy with cards. Uh, think of any uh, three things on your mind. If you do not have a question, let it go blank and let uh, the angels answer it for you. So I'm going to give you a few seconds. Think of a question, frame a question in your mind, and maybe your question will be answered by the angels, okay? I'm getting A quite a lot. I'm getting April. April is a good time for a lot of you, especially also if your name begins with A. If your birthday is in April or their birthday is in April, it's a beautiful, beautiful time. I'm getting 8th April quite a lot, okay? for something we already got to look for a sign at the end of the deck and that's what you've been getting you know i think you'll be getting signs like the feather the dove or you'll see it somewhere i'm getting a white beautiful feather i am not answering any personal questions please don't ask any sorry any personal reading here and uh, do not spam if you spam i will have to block you so do not <laughs> i i'm sure you don't want to get blocked here so I'm not moderating. I'm not reading much. But if I see too many of the same messages, I will. Please, this is not a, a personal reading. This is for the collective, okay? I'm going to start now. If you've thought of three questions, let's see what the answers are. So think of the first question in your mind. It will anyway turn. I think that's important. Wow. Communicate clearly. Some of you are lacking communication with each other. And that lack of communication is actually um, getting you misunderstandings with each other. Okay. Uh, and I feel uh, you both are playing uh, mind games or I'm going to call it word games with each other. Okay. And I definitely feel you guys could be a June born or you could be dealing with a June born. That's what I feel. But I feel six days. Next six days are very important for you to communicate with each other if there's any misunderstanding. I feel I really feel there are word games happening or there's just word play happening in messages, you know, just typing who's going to give a better answer or on the call, you know, thinking who's going to say anything better, you know, be one up. It's just uh, relationships are not about being one up. OK, it's about being, you know, balanced on the same page. So, guys, you've got to communicate clearly. If your question was what will happen, you know, will it be better, not better? You've got to communicate clearly with the person you are with. OK. Spirit guides, please give me another answer. Let's see what's another answer for you. Spirit guides, please give me another answer. Remain positive. What a beautiful word. Thank you so much. Everybody who listens to my reading says remain positive, okay? My readings are, come out to be positive always unless, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm saying, okay, get into your um, energies, take your energy back. You know, I always keep telling you when to not to chase them, which is always good. Never chase them, okay? I actually feel, you know, I was thinking today that uh, people say love, 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 but somewhere it becomes a mind game, okay? Every time, even if you see psychology or something, it tells you how to do this, not to do this, when to do this, no contact. It becomes a play, and especially it becomes a play when things are not going balanced. So don't let it become a mind, mind game, okay? I always feel communication solves a lot. And I also feel... In, your love, in the love readings that I do, do not react suddenly. You know, most of the times things, uh, there's a problem because you uh, react suddenly. Okay, let's just see uh, one more card. There's something better. Better times. Is it a better person? Better things coming for you? You know, a lot of times we cry that things are not right, but there is always something better coming for us. Let's do one bonus. I feel there's a bonus. So you don't have to worry. You have to be positive. There's something better and you have to communicate. You know, communication solves a lot of things. Oh, you, you're you getting all the signs today. Ask your angels. And here's the little angel that I always use. It's not been here for long. I always, I don't know, I feel in the left ear or the right ear, if you have an angel, just whisper your wish, you know, today. And I really feel it should be fulfilled. I'm going to do a lot of cards today. I've, I come alive after a long time. I'm going to do four collect, uh, collective for... Uh, from the uh, Rider Waite cards. Okay, one anyway has fallen here. So let's keep it here. 
And after that, I'm going to do each zodiac sign. I'm not going to take much longer with each zodiac sign because a lot of you, are, I don't know why I did I turn it, are waiting. You've got page of cups. You've got a water sign. You connect it to a water sign. And somebody's going to offer you love. Somebody's going to offer you abundance. Look at, look at this. In the cup, there is fish also. And remember when we said things are going to multiply, come back to you, <laughs> multiply. One message will be two messages. One call will be two calls from them. Your little effort would actually be a lot of effort for them. Okay. I especially get number five for you. Number five is five days from now, five hours from now. Okay. Especially if you're dealing with the number five, if their birth date, birth month is five. Oh, what else? You've got justice here. Definitely. Because you have got justice, somebody will treat you rightly the way you deserve to be treated. I'm getting the word deserve. Sorry, I know there's a bit of a flash here. Oh, I'm sorry, just wanted the light. Yeah, otherwise you can't see it. Sorry for the flash, guys. Yep, Queen of Swords, not moving anywhere. The person has to come to the Queen of Swords if they want... If they want anything, any love or something, they have to come towards them, okay? You're not going to go anywhere. You're sitting pretty there. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. How nice. You calling. It could be an air sign dealing with the air sign and above the clouds. You know, look at this. You know what I get? I got the word above the clouds from the angels and my spirit guides because you yourself has kept now, now you know your place, okay? That you're worth more and they have to come up. You are not going to lower your standards. They have to raise your standards, okay? You've, you've done enough and that's where justice sits, okay? Above the clouds, calling. It's almost like I got the word beckoning, you know, or, or, you know, it's like, come to me and look at this. You could be any gender listening to this. It's not because it's a queen. Uh, you're just a woman listening to this. Uh, fire sign. You're sensitive. You're caring. You've got a flower, okay? You've got a caring heart. But when it comes to now fighting for yourself or wanting the right thing in the relationship, you're ready. You're ready with a sword. You're ready with a wand. It's like almost, you know... I can actually see somebody marking the boundary with the stick, you know, and you're like, you cannot step in here unless you've raised your standards. And you've got a new beginning, sun, warmth, care, happiness. One of you could be pregnant. You couldn't hear the news. The sun is shining. This is beautiful. I got the word half moon, okay? Though there's a full moon here, I got the word half moon. A white horse, you could be seeing a white horse. I got an orange flower. Maybe you see an orange flower. You got an orange robe for yourself. I get the orange robe. I think I gave myself a thumbs up. It's funny when you're doing it here. <laughs> if you do this, it's a thumbs up. Great. Great reading. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, new beginning. Thinking of starting a family, if you guys have been talking about it, remember, communicate clearly if you really want to start a family. If you really want to go, you know, that extra step or go to the next level in a relationship, want to move forward, I definitely feel um, this is or, orange is a beautiful color. Wear it and uh, also write with it. I definitely get an orange. Let's start with the zodiac signs. I'm not going to take long with the zodiac signs because at the end I want to do some tea leaf cards, which is everything. You know, there would be some not just love guidance, but there could be general guidance. Okay. And I'm going to take a water break also. I'm going to have water. Let's start with Gemini. I'm going to start with my sign today. Let's see. Gemini is in love. What are the messages for you? Sorry. I feel N is important. N, N for nest. I don't know why I want to say nest. Are you going to buy a new home, Gemini? Are you going to move into a new home? I got the word nest with you. Oh, wow. Going to move. And I said move. Here is the chariot. You're going to move somewhere. Next seven days, you could be you could be dealing with a cancer. You could be dealing with a water sign. But I definitely feel you want, you're going to move because the spirit guides are saying move. You have to move. You're moving to a new house, new job. Are you traveling with your loved one? You're traveling to see someone, loved one? But definitely. I think four is going to be good for you. I'm getting a four and a seven. Two lucky numbers that I want to give you. 
wow, look at this. Very highly intuitive, you know. You're also letting your intuition move, move you, okay, to, to a particular path or something that you wanted to do or towards a particular person is what I get. But you're going to move towards someone is, is really what I feel. This is so beautiful. And, and I feel you very intuitive. You could be a tarot reader or a light worker or a medium like me or a clairvoyant. I definitely feel there is a push. And also like universe is giving you a push, like the movement. And you're also going to move towards a person. Like if you were really interested and you were thinking that should I get into a relationship with them or not? I really feel, I mean, it's like universe will push you towards them, you know, and there'll be a lot of attraction between you. So I'm getting the word attraction quite a lot. Okay. With you guys. Aquarius, I'm doing the air signs first, okay? Next is Libra. So this is Aquarius, Spirit Guides. Please give me a message. I feel the word connection, wanting to make connections, wanting to make new connections. You could be single here and wanting uh, to uh, make a new connection with someone. That's another message that I get. But connecting well with your loved one. I feel your connection is beautiful. And uh, in the coming days, your connection is going to go like much, much stronger, you know? Yeah, I mean, you'd feel stronger. It's like you want to hold them and you want to keep them secure and the person you are with, you know, like that connection that you bond very well. It's very strong, you know. It's almost with this card, I'm actually feeling strong feeling that you actually hug someone and you don't want them to go away. Aquarius, you could be dealing with an earth sign, definitely. I'm getting an earth sign quite a lot because you've got pentacles and I'm also getting water, okay? Remember, this is a general reading. I'm not doing personal reading. So whatever energies I'm picking up could be yours. Yeah, look at this, wands, queen, feeling peaceful and happy, you know, and, and very powerful. You know, when you're happy in relationships, you feel very well. You feel good, you know, about everything. I feel you're well connected also in your, I'm getting the, I'm really getting the word well connected. I have to say it again and again. I'm sorry if I'm repeating it. My spirit guides are saying well connected again and again. Um, maybe the person you are with is very well connected, knows a lot of famous people, you know, a lot of people are, you know, who are famous. Definitely could be a fire sign. Yeah. Connection almost. I'm getting two here and I'm getting, you know, thinking about things and knowing what is top priority for you. Look at this. One here and one down. Definitely knowing... Also knowing what to choose because I said number two. So I definitely feel you're going, you know what you want to choose, okay? And this relationship has come to you after a lot of hardships and you really value this uh, relationship or they really value this relationship. I'm getting a lot of red for you guys. Maybe because you could be seeing a fire sign, but I'm getting red will do, uh, do good to you. And uh, definitely Aquarius, I mean, you're creating a beautiful bond with the person you are with. Or if you just knew it is, it is going to, um, you know, uh, go on for months and years, you know. I mean, it's it's a strong relationship. Let's see, Libra. Libra, I'm anyway getting violet and white colors. I feel Libra is a little bit sensitive right now. Something is upsetting Libras. I mean, did you get upset by what they said? I mean, are you a little hurt? Because I'm getting, yeah, a little bit upset about something. Yeah, it's like you've been fighting uh, their words or the things they've been saying. I mean, you're feeling everything is a challenge right now. Or you could be very sensitive. I mean, even if they do not mean to hurt you, I mean, anything they say is getting on your nerves. You know, maybe uh, you're in that mood or something, but definitely you're not really, you're getting upset easily. And I that for you guys, I want to uh, give you number five. I will also want you to relax. Okay, do your breathing exercises. This turned in my hand waiting for someone or you've been waiting for someone and they did not show up or they said they'll call they did not call this is you waiting and feeling like hey you said you're going to show up i'm getting the words show up but they did not or hey uh you're going to um you know uh call me or you're going to meet me but that did not happen i get the word ditched here libra so i feel um firstly i feel uh, you should calm down because i feel you're a little sensitive right now and uh and maybe see that if you're reacting too soon, maybe they want to say something else with the words. You know, a lot of times uh, when you're reading messages, especially, you really don't know the tone of the person. So maybe uh, you just thought of something wrong, you know, that they're not saying right. Or Libra also feel that somebody from far away is going to come and see you. Yeah. And this is happiness also. This is, I also feel you very happy alone also because you were really hurt with somebody you were with. 
Okay, you. I feel uh, Libra. A lot of you would be self healed. Okay, before you move on to the uh, next relationship. That's another message that I get. Taurus, Earth signs. I feel Taurus as uh, Taurians should not pick up like any fights, small fights. But Taurus also, I'm getting reactive. The word reactive. I'm getting. The color brown, okay, brown could be good for you. I'm seeing a butterfly next to me. I'm seeing a lark. Is that a bird? I'm. I hope I'm pronouncing it right or getting it right. I'm also seeing the. I'm also seeing roof, like Chinese roof kind of a thing, or Japanese kind of where where they have different roofs. Oh my god, yeah. Look at this. You've got devil energy. Wanting to be in the relationship, not wanting to be in the relationship, chained in the relationship, um, not wanting to move ahead. Taurians, you know what's good for you and not in the relationship, okay? It's time to open your eyes up. See, you're very emotional. I want you to think practically what is right and what is wrong, okay? I want to give you number four. So you'll be, you know, a more uh, <laughs> connected to earth and will make a good decision, you know? emotional right now it's like you wondering is this illusion or not with your relationship but you know what the relationship is i feel you have all the answers torians but uh, this is, could be some for some of you naturally this is a general reading look at the torians all of them are the same and i saw this card while i was shuffling and i thought if it comes up again i will talk i'll talk about it so i'll take it up this is fighting this is fighting little little things and because of your relationship you're fighting everywhere in your house, in your fam, uh, with your family, job. So just be careful, okay? Just stay grounded. This will pass too. I feel next di uh, nine days, nine, ten. I was just going to say ten. Next nine, ten days could be heavy. So just let them go, okay? And things will be better. Sorry. I'm knocking things off. Angel's not going to be happy with me if I knock her off, no? Okay, Capricorn. Capricorn, I thought of a nine number, you know? Oh, this anyway turn. Again, Capricorn, little fights. A lot of, lot of these signs we just did are a little upset, sensitive. Maybe the energy is like that. A lot of times when you're picking up collective, you know, it's the energy is like that. You've been waiting for, some, for someone for long and it's high time they came to you. Okay. And I feel somebody is going to offer you love. Somebody is much old, um, older. Elder to you. Somebody is, there's a difference, you know. That there is this four-year difference. I'm getting a four-year difference. Somebody is mature. You know what I got? Uh, that you very um, playful, uh, lively, like a child. And the person is, even if they're not, there's not much of a difference or there is a difference. Uh, you find them very different. I mean, suddenly you just found out that, hey, they're very different. I'm getting the color orange and purple for you. I definitely feel you could be dealing with a water sign, okay? I also feel you'll be traveling somewhere. There's also somebody who's your world, okay? For some of you, it's a fire sign. But definitely, I feel the waiting energy. Look at this one. I said, wait, you've got the hangman here. Yeah, I don't take my cards and reversals. Definitely feel the uh, hangman energy. The waiting, the wait. Two months, it's been two days. Waiting for someone. Unfulfilled promises. I get that also. Vogo, Vogo, also I'm getting seven. I'm also getting victory, V for victory. Let me just shuffle them properly. Otherwise, they'll keep Vogo. V for victory. It's fire sign or a water sign. Though I'm also getting air now, but yeah. I'm getting victory for Vogo. <laughs> Look at this. I told you, victory for Vogo. And here's the air sign I added in the end. Somebody is, there's victory in love in whatever way, you know. And you've got the throne. It's like you've all, almost been thrown and they actually will put you on a pedestal. That's how they treat you. <laughs> they are rushing towards you and they have a lot of passion. I feel there's a lot of attraction. I feel a lot of sexual energy right now. A lot of passion for each other. They're just moving. They're not going to waste time, okay? They're not going to waste time. If it's a new relationship or whatever, they're not going to waste time. They're just going to, you know, they're like, hey, I want to see you, you know, let's go on a date. I mean, it's, you'll always you'll always feel, hey, they, are they rushing into things? Am I rushing into things? 
I get number three quite a lot with you, Virgo, and I actually get red because that's the color of passion and love. I'm actually getting that. Look at this seven number. It's like somebody will rush in and promise you the world. They promise you everything. Hey, I can offer you this, this. Let's go on a date. I want to give you a gift. <laughs> I want to do this. But definitely that's the energy. Let's move on. We've done the Virgo. We've done, okay, now Cancer. Let's see Cancer. Oh, Scorpio I didn't do. I'll do Scorpio after that. Let's see. Cancer. Is Cancer as emotional as they always are? Cancer. Cancer is working hard on the, on the relationship. They're making an effort to look into small things. Have they missed something? Uh, they're trying to be nice. And, uh, you know, they're, they're probably picking up a thoughtful gift. I mean, it's all those words that are coming to me, you know, being thoughtful, happy, happiness, get together, little things, probably, uh, you know, if you're dealing with a cancer and you, or if you're not a cancer, they, they're they planning something for you, like, you know, a party or something, surprise, little surprise involving family or they want to introduce you to the family. Yeah, they're coming towards you. Cancer wants you in their life, no matter what, okay? And uh, you really, they really think that you mean a lot to them. Yeah. You could be dealing with somebody younger is what I get with cancer. They're going to jump right into action, you know. That's how they are feeling right now. Like you say, a puppy in love, puppy eyes. That's how they're feeling, Can <laughs> if you're dealing with cancer. You've got king of cups. Of course, you are with... The person, the cancerian is ready with love. The person you're de dealing with is ready with love. I definitely get number two for you because it's a great connection. You're a beautiful pair. That's what I get. No, I haven't done Leo. I am going to do Scorpio right now. I just saw Leo. And I think uh, Pisces, Sagittarian, Aries and Leo are left. And then we will move on to tea leaf cards, which I really want to do some messages for you guys. Scorpio I saw the introspection hermit card. Scorpio is thinking, what have I done? Am I doing right? Where am I going? See, number nine. Number nine is important. Am I doing the right thing? What am I doing? Where am I going? Soul searching. <laughs> searching for answers. I don't know why I feel with Scorpio. Searching for answers. Look at this. Justice. Will I get justice? What am I doing? Were they fair? Was I fair? Were they bad? Was I bad? <laughs> Scorpio is overthinking. I think don't overthink. Look at this, another overthinking card. You know, it's almost like working in the field and suddenly uh, the thoughts of the person comes in. Is it right? Where am I going? What am I doing with my life? I mean, you're you're totally on a different tangent, <laughs> Scorpios. That's what I feel. Scorpio could be dealing with another water sign. You could be dealing with an air sign. You could be dealing with another water sign, air sign. And there is reunion for a lot of you. I get reunion for Scorpios. I feel a good connection. I feel some of you are really going to connect with each other very well. You've got number two here. Did I say two? Did I give two in the beginning? I've forgotten. What did I give to Scorpio? I've forgotten, actually. Anyway, a beautiful beginning, a reunion, togetherness. Okay, that's what I feel. I feel really wanting to be together also. Scorpio wants to really, really keep that person in their life or the person you are with. They really, really value you and, the, you know, they want to be in your life. And it's it's kind of an equal give and take. So all that justice thing that you were thinking, oh, is it fine, not fine, will be answered, okay? Let's move on to Pisces. And that's a lot of talking for me. And I talk fast also like a real Gemini. Otherwise, I can't channel messages. I forget. I'm a writer also. So if I don't write fast, I forget. What am I writing? I am like that. Thank you for bearing with me. <laughs> yeah, we all have our quirks, don't we? Pisces. Pisces, where are you swimming? In what direction? Are you chasing each other? Oh, are you chasing each other? What is happening? Chasing each other. Is there another person? Number eight seems important, Pisces. What loop are you getting into, okay? What loop are you in? Thank you for all the comments. I'm actually just, if I just glance, I'm just picking up. Oh my God, this card is coming a lot today. A lot of you are in a relationship, you know, it's it takes hard work. You know, you love them and you hate them. I'm getting a love-hate relationship, you know. That's what I feel. Yeah, something is making you cry. You love them, but they say things or they behave that makes you, you know, 
cry one minute the way good one minute the way bad that's what i'm getting piscean i'm getting a lot of blue for you you're a water sign i'm getting blue i'm getting indigo as a color yeah star card and this is number eight and i just give you it 15 yeah this is five six 17 17 is an eight i gave you an eight no you gotta if you're in a loop you know universe will take you out of that loop of a relationship if they are like going hot and cold very good and very bad and you know uh i love hate it's it's going to be fine okay because you've got you've got universe has got your back don't have to worry pisces so remember i get the chasing energy also got three could be a three-party situation universe will actually give you all the right answers so you will not be in a loop with the person remember that sagittarian and then i have aries and a leo okay I want to give pink to Sag. Yeah, that's a strange color because you've got red there, but I want to give pink to Sagittarians. Spirit guides, please give me messages. I'm getting nine number for you guys. Wow, oh, sorry. You've got a new beginning. Happiness. Finally happiness. I want to say finally happiness in the relationship. I want to add the word finally because it's important. Finally, there's a hope. Finally, there is new beginning. Finally, you get things what you get the things you wanted. Finally, you've got love. You could be dealing with a water sign. You two are very different people, okay? But I get the word finally things are happening. I mean, it's almost like you guys said the word, uh, I'm gonna take this card that you made it, you know. It's like both of you made it when when you have challenges in the relationship. So you can either leave each other or rather work towards it. I mean, I just want to say uh, the thing that I get is uh, you've made it. Look at this. You've got, you could be dealing with a water sign. You've got love from them. You've made it. That's why I kept it a little away because it did slip out of the deck and I thought you require, you want it here. There's this warmth. And no matter what happened, you made it is also a chapter, you know, when one difficult um, thing uh closes other chapter and a new chapter you write with the same person so it's it's the world it's the chapter it's zero you know from zero like probably a relationship went from a zero but now to a hundred thank you for all your patience guys aries Aries, this turned again, you know, water. So Aries, a lot of uh, fire signs dealing with the water sign. I also get air sign. I get M for you and I also get WC, water. Somebody's offering you much love, you know. You thought probably they don't uh, really love you, but somebody's offering you much love and you've got queen of cups also. So a lot of water, a lot of emotions, Aries. Aries, you're very emotional about each other, I think. Emotions at play, you know. You love each other. Very, very emotional as... You know, when a lot of people are emotional, some are practical. You really both think from the heart, you know. And very, I'm getting very pure souls right now. I know who am I picking up, but I'm getting very pure souls. Look at this happiness, happiness, abundance, you know, the cups you've collected from each other. I feel you each, you really lift each other up. I mean, it, you could be working together. Okay, that's another thing that I get, Aries. You could be working together. You could be partners in a business or you could be colleagues. But I definitely feel you build each other up. I mean, you inspire each other, which is so beautiful. I'm getting 22 for you, Aries. I mean, I don't know if it means anything. It's a birthday, birth month for someone. Last but not the least, we move to e um, Leo. I was going to say Aries. So maybe a Leo is seeing an Aries. But uh, let's see. To hold up for the tea leaf cards because a lot of times there are a lot of messages, you know, that you might just need, uh, not just love, but otherwise to inspire you. Somebody is, uh, you know, it's, Leo, I don't know why I want to say you want to study further. Okay. Are you, are you studying further? Are you studying law? You want to be heard, Leo. That's another thing that I get. You know, I almost got the loudspeaker in um, in my mind's eye. It's like a visual. You want to be heard. It's like, you know, somebody is like, you're actually practicing. Or are you practicing for a speech or a meeting? Um, you want to be heard in the relationship probably. It's like you've lost your voice. Look at this again. This card has come out. I definitely feel, let's take it. Um, 
I definitely feel a lot of uh, fire signs are seeing water signs or are getting emotional about the loved one. Yeah, air sign. Swords, you 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 you're ready, you're ready. Not I'm not gonna say for the fight, but you're ready to say what you feel. Yeah, and the universe supports you. I mean, you got this got this power almost like you joined a group or somebody inspired you to talk, you know. You definitely need to be heard, Leo, in the relationship. Yeah. It has to be equal. That's why this card has come out. It has to be equal for you both. It's very important that you say what you feel, okay. Pick up a card. Yeah, say what you feel. Look at this. I'm going to take this card. You know why? Because you want the person to value you as much as you value them. It could be an earth sign. Gold color is good for you because I'm wearing gold and I definitely feel gold, you know. Gold is also value when people value you. It's precious. Are you just wondering, are you ready of any, you know, do they really like you that way, respect you, value you? Those were your words. I get the word challenges, Leo, with you. Maybe you use the word challenges somewhere. Let's do the tea leaf cards. And I definitely feel, I'm not going to give a number to it, but I definitely feel important, okay? Let me just keep them here. I need a little more working space. And I'm going to knock off a lot of things, I'm sure. Spirit guides, please give me messages that people need to know. Remember, this could be love. This could be your career. This could be anything, health, challenges. Spirit guides, what do people need to know? I was just going to say the hills, okay? I was just going to mention mountains when I kept everything away. And I was like, either you stay close to the hills, you said the word mountains. Remember when I said you said this word, but I wanted to say hills and I wish I said it. I always say it when my spirit guides, sometimes I don't listen to my spirit guides. I should listen to them. Obsess uh, obstacles to overcome. So some kind of obstacles that you feel. Did you buy a house in the hills? That's another thing. Or do you have a house in the hills? Some kind of an obstacles you need to overcome. I feel because it's hills, it's not like mountains. So it's going to be okay because it's not really high. The it's not very difficult, okay? You've got the gong, an exciting event. Something exciting is on its way. It's almost, you know, when you put that gong, you could have heard a gong or did you see it in a movie? You've got a lion. Time to act. For some of you, if to act, you could be being you could be a bit lazy today. You had to finish something, but then you did not. Chain, chain of events that will affect your life. Chain of when something, if you're angry and you go home and then you're angry with everybody, or if you're happy and everybody's happy at home and you talk to everybody well. So there's a chain of events. What you start, you know, is going to affect everybody around you. I want to pick this up. I thought this was important. This is career. I want to take this one also. Success. How beautiful. Diamond success. And I think this card came a few days ago. This, this fell. I have to take this. You've got a horse. Short journey. I was watching videos. I saw a beautiful horse. There's a short journey coming up. Probably for me also. <laughs> yeah, for you guys. You've been planning a journey. I feel March and April beginning. 7th, around 7th April. Bull, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Do not back down. Okay, you you have the strength. You remember, I said you need the you have the voice. You need it. Maybe you needed this inspiration. You know that you cannot back down. If you if you know that you're saying the truth, and if you know that you have to be heard, please don't back back down or back away. Chain of it. Anybody anyway said. I'm going to do a few more of these and I'm going to finish with one um, Archangel Michael message. Okay, Spirit guides, please give me a message. September is important for you. Maybe you're a September born. Something to do with September. Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. I feel more if you have, if you have like employees for you, maybe you'll get a resignation or something. I get, a res I get the word resignation. I don't know what it means to you. Wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. So who's trying to come in between, okay? I feel this is more of a caution card that somebody's just been trying to you. Maybe they want to take your friend away or they want to want something from you. How will you get away from it? Flowers. Happiness. 
Wow, beautiful. Maybe you spot flowers like that. Maybe you spot a purple bird like that. That's really a strange one, but yeah. <laughs> Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Yeah, look at this. Maybe the person you're in love with, they're, they're acting like that these days. You got to be careful. Fly. Half of, the word, half of them I've not seen because there's so many cards. A period of ill health, depression. Please be careful, guys. Don't get de depressed. Things just happen. You know, sometimes things, everything goes wrong and then everything goes right. Don't worry. Happens with me also. Don't worry, guys. Bell announcement. Some kind of announcement is coming your way. You've got the gong. You have the bell. So some kind of a good announcement, you know, when you announce good news and just strike the bell or the gong. Okay, let's take these two because both came out. You're highly thought of. This is people respect you. Could be work or otherwise. People really respect you. Hat. You will be playing a different role. Wow. That could be anything if you're getting married or if you're a girlfriend, any kind of role, you know, or anything. I mean, there's a. I feel there's a change in role. Those are the words coming to me. Where are the Archangel Michael cards? Yes, the last one. Thank you guys before I finish this reading. Last to Archangel Michael card. That you might need some guidance, Archangel Michael. Please give me a guidance. I've done all of them. If you are kind enough <laughs> and I get lazy and tired, <laughs> you can put uh, the uh, counter of the, especially of the horoscope. I don't know if Flying Soul is listening to me because she does it normally. <laughs> She's a sweetheart and she just does it every time. Spread guides, please give me a message. How do I close the reading? What do I need to say? Spread guides. Open up your spiritual gifts for a lot of you. Let me do one more. There are a lot of gifts. Look at the birds today. You know, the hummingbird. Uh, different birds and when we started this reading we said there is uh, you know there are signs from above remember that your true nature is spiritual not physical the angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth one more message spirit guides <gasps> angel is gonna oh angel is gonna be very unhappy i am just not gonna put your creative energy into action so put your energies into action and i was just going to say a clarinet or something and here it is the loudspeaker i said the loudspeaker but this was the visual that came into my mind and this has come out i definitely want you to speak your mind okay that's what i want and uh Put your creative energy into action and Archangel Gabriel wants you to spark your creativity, help you communicate your vision and motivate you to create something beautiful no matter what it is. So take care, guys. Wow. And at the end of the deck, look what we have for you after the shuffling, Archangel Michael. After all the shuffling, I think this has to be included. And Archangel Michael is always with you and you've got number three. You protect it, guys. What a beautiful card. And how, how powerful it is. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll be back with another reading. Um, take care and have a beautiful day, guys. Bye. <laughs>